going to show you the ultimate six hour tending area in the Southern Island of New Zealand. Let's get straight into it. For the first few days of the trip, I'll be staying in Queenstown at the Blue Peaks Lodge. This is my view upon exiting the door of the hotel, and that mountain in front of us is what we're getting on top of. Huh? Now you can get a gondola lift to the top, but that's pussy shit, and it costs money. So I decided to do the old school primal method and hike my way there. And it may have been tiring, but I felt like the view was so much more better getting there the hard way. And this is what it looks like from the top. It was amazing to see the over atmosphere of Queenstown with the lake and the surrounding mountains. So I caved in and now I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'm getting the gondola back down to save energy, but it was definitely worth the experience of the ride. So when we got back down, we ended up getting one of the local buses, which was a bit of a bumpy ride, which took us to Arrowtown. This is a quiet and historic place in New Zealand, which is known for its gold mining. And the place is filled with lots of old shops and souvenirs. However, if you go exploring, you'll find old huts and people panning for gold by the rivers. As for the second day of the trip, we took a local walk around Lake Wakatipu. And in fact, we actually got a boat cruise across the lake, which was very relaxing. We were able to look down below the engine room and it looked like a lot of work seeing all the workers shovel the coal into the fire the entire time of the cruise. For this sightseeing cruise, if you look at any direction, you'll be blessed with the mountains surrounding the lake. For the second half of the day, I hired some skiing gear and we got another bus to take us all the way to the top of Coronet Peak. This is a local ski area of Queenstown and New Zealand's first commercial ski field. There is a variety of terrain to experience, but one of the main reasons this is a must to be ticked off your bucket list is because of the night skiing. I didn't even get any footage of this because I was having so much fun, but it was just nighttime skiing and snowboarding. Now for the third day, we're doing a full day cruise to Milford Sound. This includes a bus ride with multiple stops and sightseeing, as well as a boat cruise on the edge of New Zealand. One of the sites we stopped at was where the Lord of the Rings was filmed. And here's a glimpse of the rest of the sites and the views along the way. Arriving at Milford Sound, I was blown away by the scenery and it seemed surreal. The water was colourful and the mountains were enormous. There are seals soaking up sun on the nearby rocks and there are waterfalls which the boat gets very close to. Along this trip, you'll also get expert commentary by the bus driver and the crews. Now coming into the fourth day, we are actually leaving Queenstown and hired a car to make our way to Glentana, which is the gateway to New Zealand's biggest mountain, Mount Cook. On the way there, we decided to make a few stops to soak in the views. And one of the best looking places we stopped at was Lake, <laughs> Lake Bukaki. After this site, we continued to Glentana Park to stay for the night. Now waking up early in the morning, we're actually heading to one of the best places I've ever seen in my life called Tasman Glacier. Where we're standing is where the ice and water used to be up to, but over time it has dropped in size. The videos don't even do justice for this place, it looks a hundred times better seeing it with your own eyes. Also, I should add that this is an extremely quiet area and almost no visitors around, which made me feel like a main character in a movie. There's also a smaller glacier nearby, which if you ever come across, you need to throw some ice across it because it makes one of the coolest sounds I've ever heard in my life. After leaving the Tasman Glacier, we headed to Hooker Valley. This is a three mile walk each way to see yet another glacier. However, if you enjoy nature, you won't get tired of the landscapes. And after a long day of walking, we headed to Lake Tekapo, which is where we stayed the night. So I woke up with a sore body from the previous day from all the walking, which is why I'm not gonna do any major activities today and just keep it local. The lake was the most colorful lake I'd seen and the air was so clean and refreshing. There is also a mountain nearby that we drove to later on in the day that overlooks Lake Tekapo. However, we got bad weather and it didn't look as colourful as it did in the morning, but it still had a good view. So, there's my six day New Zealand trip I made for you, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya!